Hey, what's up? Ik uh, sta hier uh, op de ISPO 2014 in München. Ik heb gisteren echt een hele vette minirem wedstrijd gezien hier in de Volkom minirem. Waar Daan van der Linden trouwens tweede is geworden. Gefeliciteerd Daan. Uh, wie ik hier ook gezien heb is Michael Brock. En Michael Brock is de uitgever van Concrete Wave Magazine. Het is mijn favoriete magazine. En waarom dat zo is, zie je in deze video. Skateboard Fitcast. Ik ben Johnny Dertin en ik zit met Michael Brook. Michael, what's up? Uh, everything's very good. Yeah. The people in the Netherlands probably don't know you. Can you please explain me who you are? Well, I've been skateboarding for about 40 years. I wrote a book in 1999 called The Concrete Wave. It's the history of skateboarding. And in 2002, I launched the world's first longboarding magazine. Actually, strike that. In 1999, I launched uh, International Longboarder. In 2002, I launched Concrete Wave. But it's not just about longboarding, it's about skateboarding. That's right, we have slalom, we have freestyle. We try to cover the whole range of different emotions that come out with skateboarding. And uh, 15 years later, it's still going strong. Yeah. What do you think about the ISPO here? ISPO's amazing experience because you come here, it's products, it's people, and it's the place. And the place is Munich, the people are amazing, and the products are incredible. And the energy here, it could be four weeks and it yeah. wouldn't be enough time. Uh -huh. The longboard part is getting bigger and bigger and bigger and right now it's integrated with this whole skateboarding thing. Yeah, it's amazing. You know, down in California they have the Agenda Show and it's uh, Skatepartheid. They basically have the separation between the street skaters and the longboarders. And I don't think that's fair. I think it is skateboarding as a whole and people have to understand that the energy on the mini ramp is just as much fun as the energy on the pump ramp. It may be a little different in terms of the uh, look and feel of the product, but the energy is the same. So to have everybody together is a wonderful, wonderful feeling. Did you see the mini ramp contest uh, yesterday? I saw a little bit of it. It's very cool to see the energy out there and the kids, the, the level is amazing. skating this this day and age is incredible kids start at six seven months old they what they play the video game and their brain gets wired and by the time they're three or four they're ready to go and then six or seven eight or nine boom yeah yeah just wait till 18. that's crazy it's crazy yeah it is crazy uh, you started also another program called longboarding uh, for peace tell me a little bit about that Longboarding for Peace is a, a movement. It's a movement that uses longboards as a way to bring balance and harmony to the world. And basically what happens is we use these products to teach kids the very principle of if you go too much to the left, you wind up in a circle. And if you only go right, you wind up in another circle. The only way you can have balance is if you go a little bit to the left and a little bit to the right. That's how you move forward. So we teach children in uh, fairly impoverished areas about this. We give them skateboards. We, we teach them about balance through this, this training. And we've gone to Israel and the Palestinian territories, and we've had Arabs and Israelis, kids that normally wouldn't talk to each other, enjoy their time on skateboards. And this, to me, really was an exceptional experience. It's now grown to 25 countries. It's not a charity. It's not a nonprofit. It is a movement. And when you don't ask for money, big things can happen. And the final thing we're doing is we're doing gun buybacks. And what we're doing is a situation where we're taking people who have guns in their houses and we're having them bring them to the police department who destroy the guns in exchange for longboards. And that, my friend, 
is bringing balance and peace to the world. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's a great project and we got to do it in the Netherlands as well. You are going to do it with Flavio and I want to say hello to Flavio. I will say one thing and, and that is this. If you're out there and you live in the Netherlands, you must know that your country is a very special country. And your country is a leading light in the world. And I think people who are into skateboarding or into longboarding in the Netherlands, if they have stepped on a skateboard or a longboard, and now is the time for them to step up, longboarding for peace is that opportunity. And I know the Dutch people, they have this in their heart because you are a special people. And I want to say thank you for, for letting me tell my story. Okay. Uh, thank you, man. I'm very uh, impressed by your work. If people want to get involved or want to know more about the magazine, where should they go? The easiest thing is just to find us on Facebook. Longboarding for Peace is there, concretewave.com. The truth is, is that if you know that you stepped up on a longboard and you feel the love of what that balance and what that gives you, just contact me. We'll, we'll, find, we'll find your way. We'll help you. We'll enable you to get involved. You just have to email me. That's all. Oké, okay, dat uh, was voor deze fitcast. Wil je meer informatie over deze fitcast? Ga naar www.iboardcast.com. Daar vind je ook alle linkjes uh, naar Concrete Wave en uh, Longboarding for Peace en uh, alle Facebookpagina's. Volgende week ben ik er weer. Mazzel. Oh, keep more licorice. I will send you. I will send you a box. I will eat that box. Okay, I will send it. <laughs>